On your way, we are on your way. Oh, I need a fucking elbow arm band thing. The wrist thing. Eventually, eventually, we'll get that. Done that. We'll move on to this one. Pam and Patrick have developed a friendship while leading the Plainview Panthers to their first state championship game in the school's history. Now they face their biggest test, the North Beverly Bearcats, a well-funded private school from the north side of Chicago who have won eight straight titles, eight straight state titles. <laughs> alright, the Bearcats one looks alright too. Again, I, I prefer the jersey of the team I'm playing against. Great. Great. Game two of my career. I can't believe how many North Beverly hats I saw today. Man. Front running high school team is crazy. Yo, that's what happens when you win eight straight titles and you're the most exclusive private school on the north side of Chicago, man. Five assistant coaches. Full time. Mm-hmm. That means they've been scouting you for months. Guess I'm gonna have to just go in there and do my thing, you know what just I mean? Stop playing, MP. What the heck? Do you, you wanna win, bro? Of course I wanna win. What you doing? past the rock. Are you you're on a whole nother level than everybody else? I get that. But we can shoot. All right, especially if we're wide open and they're throwing doubles at you with their all-star recruits, man. Yo, Patrick. Ever since you got to Plainview, you've been telling me to take over, prove to the scouts that I'm an NBA player. Yeah. And now we're on the biggest stage, and you sitting here to tell me to play timid? You scared? You nervous? What's I'm up, scared, man? Scared, man. It's, it's North Beverly. I can't lose to those guys. Hold on. Why? Because you play with half of them on your club league team? It's not the players, man. Players are in the same condition we in on scholarship. I'm talking about the fans. I can't stand the fans, man. They've been getting everything handed down to them. Their entire lives, man. And they swear it's because they're better than you. Yeah, no, that's real. Meanwhile, somebody from Plainview can work twice as hard as them. And they'll never, ever get the same opportunity. I hear you. That's exactly what I'm saying. But yo, you want to hear something even crazier? One of the biggest donors at North Beverly is the guy who shut down the garment factory. And my grandfather, he worked there for 37 years, bro. 37 years, Patrick. If you, if you force up shots, we're gonna lose, man. The stock's gonna drop. Who's left for me to manage? <laughs> Go with this managing thing, man. How about you just worry about knocking down your shots tomorrow and then we'll talk about it, right? That's not a problem. <laughs> all right, then. Plain view. All right, man, let's get out of here, bro. And let's go down to the floor as they get ready to announce the starting lineups. All right. This is the high school state championship. Let's go. I want to play for the Bearcats now. They, they got better uniforms. Fuck them. What? Come on. The other forward, number 50. Mm, I'm by. That shooting guard, number 16. Oh, I haven't changed my um, nickname and shit. I've got to put subtitles in the cutscenes. Patrick. I 
I bet at some stage later on in your career you got to try and recruit him to your team for this dynasty thing. Fucking MP. Good evening, everyone, and thank Let's you go. for joining our coverage of the Illinois State High School Championship. What a matchup we have between the North Beverly Bearcats and the Plains. Yeah, we got a matchup. We got a matchup. Let's go. What kind of matchup do you expect tonight? Well, Joe, most fans expect North Beverly to once again take home. Actually, what's missing? Just win. Oh, I get four. Oh, seven assists. Okay, I got to get assists. Throughout this tournament. You cannot count out MP and the Panthers. I got a screen here. Against MP with the way he can dominate the game. But North Beverly has a complete roster. And the Bearcats are the cream of the crop when it comes to high school talent. They have the depth. But we'll see if anyone can match up and slow down MP. I'm not a passer, man. So this is going to be very interesting. It's the bill for MP and Plainview. They win and lose as a team, but MP is at the center of it all. He's the best player the school has ever had and has put them on his back for this finals run. Just five on the clock. Left side, it's Day. Off the mark there with the three. Rosenberg outside. Away. Oh, you fuck! Give me the ball. Emu. Why the fuck did he give it to you? I didn't have time to even have a shot. There we go. Trying to force these fucking assists. And about a minute and a half through the first quarter. With a center with 50 passing. Plain view before the season. Brilliant. He's been a huge part of their success. Wells knows how to shoot something you can always use more of. Likely won't make that jump to the college level though, but he's a great high school player and a really solid one-two punch with MP. Block at four. Vlad Dermanenko for three. Didn't convert this time, but that's exactly the kind of look that they want. And they'll take that shot each and every time you give it to them. More often than not, that's a made three. No. Back to MP. Wells outside. Rosenberg. Wells outside. Oh, he's fucking passed it to the bastard. Fucking hell. With the rebound. Dishes to Marcida. To this is going to be impossible. Here's Bishop. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. And you look at the size that North Beverly brings. You no have way. to think that that's going to give Plainview some Fucking just running next to me, you dildo. That size complicates your ability to run normal sets. Everything, I mean, even getting looks at the basket, passing across the court. It's all so much more difficult when your team has a huge size disadvantage. And Pete gets the ball inside. He creates a lot of pressure. Give up a basket or commit a foul like they did here. And he knocks down the first one. The line for the Panthers. And so he makes both at the line that time. And the Bearcats with possession here. Right. Assist. Need assist. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Aslana Glue on the screen. Passes to Cawthon. Yes, and a nice assist Fuck. from Vlad Dermanenko. Look, Cawthon is that cover. normally operates down low. But on that one, he showed off his range. MP outside. Outside, Tombo. MP outside. Here's Wells. Someone fucking. MP outside. You, you can take it. The and there we go. I've got to fucking force that shit. State championships for them, an incredible run. Outside Marcita, Cawthon sets the screen. And Marcita 
Marcita gets Two it points. to go. James Marcita. So competitive in the interior. Marcita makes good use of his size, breaking through the contact. And you look at the program North Beverly has put together, it's something you rarely see. Oh, they're gold standard for high school basketball around here. Great coaching, great teammates. Kids want to play for this. Oh, you useless they prick. They've made the most of their chances. Fuck him. Maybe I'll just go for the three assists in the win. Seven's gonna be way. That I'm sure will change. From down in the low post, it goes. You can see the defense is flustered. They just can't seem to shut him down. One second differential between the shot clock and Oh, you motherfucker! North Beverly pulls it in. Right side, Day. Marcita. Here's the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. First quarter wrapping up here. And it's a top what are they looking at the clock? And a quick break with second the second quarter, quarter set to begin in just a moment. Clumsy idiot. That would have been me second assist. Welcome back, everyone. We're here at the United Center. Substitution for the Bearcats. And something to note between these two schools, Plainview has never beaten North Beverly. Wow, Joe, just lay out the cold hard fact like that? Yeah, I'm not sure I would ever bring that up in the locker room or make the sole point to fire up the squad, but either way, staying undefeated over... What the fuck? Look at the score! ...real challenge on that end. Now Wells, screen by MP. And Patrick Wells with the Who fucks up with that score? Wow! Wells relishing at the chance to get some revenge from beyond the arc. Chew with the ball. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Down low. Cawson. Oh, shit. Outside. Chew. On the wing, James Marcita. No good on the three. Plainview trailing. Passes to MP. Wells. And he slams it down. Here's MP. Played in with a nice cut shot. He only missed that fucking shot because I passed him the ball. The Bearcats power forward loves to clean the glass. He's got a real pack mentality too. So when a shot goes up, Austin is nearly always in the picture, and he's either boxing out or snagging those boards himself for easy second chance buckets. Entering unfair territory. Marcita already has a huge edge inside, and now showcasing the long ball. The power of the Bearcats is a full display right now. Now here's MP. Back to Tombo. For Chumsey. To the inside. Here's MP, and the layup is good off the glass. I like it, I like you could have fucking actually concentrated on trying to get the win too, I think, so... I might just start trying to score for a little while. If the assists come, they come. If not, I don't. I just want to get past these challenges. Got it! For Chumpsy, outside. Here's MP. Oh! At six foot ten inches and two hundred and forty pounds, small is not what comes to mind for this small forward. Oh no, not at all, Danny. It's noticeable how tall he is, and it's unusual to see that kind yeah, of. Yeah, he is very tall. Wing. But again, that's the benefit of the international recruiting that North Beverly pulls from. Now Chu, he hasn't yet put up any points in this one. The three pointer, no good. Outside, Gibson. Screen by MP. The shot. Ah, no oh, come Gibson. on. Credit the D there. They got their hands up and made sure he wasn't comfortable on the release. I got nothing on the offensive rebounds. I didn't allow him the space he needed to get a good shot off. Bishop with the screen. James Marcita for three. MP grabs the miss. Wells outside. MP. 
Danke, you big fuck. You can do it. What's the score now? Two. Well, they're up by 10, so two's a bit better than 10. intimidating for some of these players playing in such a hollow ground here at the United States. I think it's safe to substitute the might for a definitely dunk. Yeah. It's big, sight, sound, everything. It's a dream come true for many of these players. Now here's German and Co. Inside. Fader on the way. It's Marcito missing. to Rosenberg, takes it out to Wells, MP high post. MP yeah. MP getting above the rim and elevating the energy in this building. I like his dunk back there, actually. Here's German and Co. Oh, the two foot fucking back scratching shit. Oh, I could have jumped to that. Right on time. Great look and a solid finish. Well, no doubt MP is a legend for Plainview already. Likely to be the first graduate to oh, no. see the NBA. Every Mr. Dunk. You know, MP's athleticism is something special. He's got great Shit. basketball IQ, and you can see the potential ooze out of him. This is just the start of what can be a decorated career. Coffin sets the screen. James Marcita for three. That doesn't go in either for James Marcita. Thank you on offense. Oh, okay, you got it. MP. He's guarded by German and Co. And they double up MP. Back to Tombo. MP up top. Wells outside. Rosenberg. Takes it out to Wells. Yes. It's two. One more. Just looking to get anything going offensively. Well, let's get two stars. a lid on the hoop right now. So many of the players for the Panthers have been a part of the Plainview community their whole life. There have been a lot of legacy names. Some of the kids have fathers and grandfathers that played for Plainview. It's not a large town, but they love their basketball. Now Wells. Eight points for him. Offensive board. MP. Oh, don't let your foot. Well, this is why his teammates and coaches love him. MP just never gives up on the play. He's right there to collect the board and finds a bucket of his own. Here's Marcita. Uh oh. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want to get me very so I can get that fucking chase down shit up and it. Oh, I fly in denier or whatever the fuck it was. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. MP. It's piss fart in the band. Ben Bishop, the big man for the Bearcats, seven plus feet in the middle. Hard to miss out on the floor. Yeah, sticking out on the floor with his height. The mobility is the only question mark for him. He moves like he's 50 years old and drives a minivan, but man, when he gets into position, he's a load to deal with. Here's the break for three. Ted Gibson. It's a fucking little bastard hold me out. Dishes to Marcita. Low bloody offensive rebound. And I'm, I'm not super strong. Not that you'll ever be super strong, but a, little bit, a little bit stronger. And it's Gibson with the rebound. On the wing, it's MP. He's covered by Bishop. Sweet move. And oh, shit. Got to finish that, buddy. Pass to Dermanenko. Chumsey with the steal. 
Charlie Altman has North Beverly prepared to play this oh, game. Ooh, on their own home floor. Oh, Coach Altman is a living legend. He's the most decorated high school coach in Illinois State history. And what's great about him is he doesn't want his players to be overwhelmed by the environment. He wants them to stay focused and in the game plan. And now here's Marcita. He's got 12. Over for Chubsey. North Beverly no good on that one either. The Panthers leading. For three, Todd Gibson. But they'll get oh, it. Oh, that was clumsy. Here's MP. Oh, that was a bad shot. MP can smell that Illinois State title, racking up bucket after bucket. And it one more assist. I don't I mean, need it, need it, but I wouldn't mind having it. The third quarter comes to a close. Claim you ahead. They lead by six. Stay right where you are. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. Final quarter of play just ahead. The Illinois State Championship on the line. And the Bearcats with possession here. They trail by six. And of course, high school basketball around Chicago, as competitive as it gets. There is a legacy here. Yeah, players are chasing the shadow in the shape of the number 20. Motherfucker. It develops every court in this city. Basketball could be a ticket, could be the opportunity of a lifetime for these athletes. Back to Wells. MP, guarded by Leptos. Pass, pass, pass. He's against Aslana Blue. He fought hard from Hit that shit, buddy. I need an assist. He defended the shot and got the board. Here's August Twitter with the three. It's rebounded by Plainview. Here's Wells. Shoots the three. Cranes the triple. Shot. Petty Wells. Possession and snags a basket there. And Dillard, another shooter for Plainview. Solid jump shot, but misses a baffling amount of easy waves. He'll have a few head scratchers each game, Danny. And you can't ask for a better look. It was almost too open from that time around. Pass to Zadirko. Back to MP. It's Dillard outside. And Patrick Wells outside. And the Panthers hit it again from deep. And right now, he is flat out feeling it from beyond the arc. No gloves, just the hot hand, and they'd be smart to keep riding that. Now splitter. Johnny Chu. Six to shoot. Back to splitter. From the arc. MP grabs the miss. Passes to Wells. Now here's MP. Now Dillard. Now MP. And MP throws it down. Dushka. They have no answer for MP. He's pouring it on, willing his team to a state title. They can bash his little guys. They're getting beat up pretty badly out there. They cannot keep the status quo. They've got to make some changes. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a, at least one more assist there. Oh. Substitutions for the Bearcats. Just under two and a half minutes gone by in the final quarter. Outside, Bishop from outside the arc. North Beverly no good on that one either. And when you watch Germanenko on the court for North Beverly, he's as composed as they get at this level. He's the smallest starter for the Bearcats, but he's sort of like this conductor of a larger-than-life Bearcat orchestra. I need an assist, the symphony, And he collects assists from the giants of North Beverly. Ah, oh, you no, fuck! Can't hit it. And the Bearcats with possession here. 11-point game. And again, it's the Bearcats mm. missing. Passes to Wells. MP. He's covered by Bishop. Oh, he's fucking... MP with the rock. He's against Bishop. Back to Prochumsi. Five to shoot. I should do this again. Huh? Launches it. 
Damn it. Rebound goes to the Bearcats. Should have shot it when you were open before you do it. On the wing, James Marcita. He is guarded by Prochumpsi. And he comes up with the deuce. Guys, we know Marcita is big, but he's also been working really hard to become more skilled, too. All right. Uh, sure. We've played just over three and a half minutes now into this fourth quarter. Dish to combo. Come on, come on. Oh, you fuck. Outside, Marcita. Fucking bold idiot. Coffin sets the screen from past the arc. The shot, no good. I'm playing point guard. Fuck off. The ball. They've given up only five points here in the fourth. Round. MP outside. Gonna do that, and then we're gonna give it to you. Shoot it. Oh, you fucking dildo. Pass to Prochumpsi. Clock is at three. Beyond the arc. Yes! That's it. Fuck him, we did it. Oh, damn. Didn't get three stars, but three stars, but we got two stars. That'll do. To the inside. Here's Bishop. Yes. Fucking way early. Way early. Way early. Orchestrating the offense out there. Never excited there. Loves calling plays and getting his guys good shots. For Chumpsy outside. Back to MP. The three. Oh shit! Was that for three? You idiot. I think that this deficit is just I was looking at the fucking other one. You said it. There just isn't enough ticks left in that clock. Let me wait. The drive by MP. Put it in the history book. Foul, come on there. Oh, well, two stars, that'll do. We win the state championship. And they took down a tight in North Beverly today. And out of all the schools to end the dominance of North Beverly, nobody would have expected the Plainview Panthers. These kids are legends today and here on out. It's a Cinderella story that this state will never forget. For Drake Cinderella Hugo, story, Jimmy baby. Hager, this is Joe Lomi saying thanks for watching. <laughs> Two points, 20 rebounds, three assists. What? I got three assists, I should have had two stars. Wasn't it three assists? <laughs> oh, you're kidding, was it fucking four? That's, that's some bullshit, man. Oh man, it was crazy. I did not realize how much we meant to everyone until I saw it on their faces, man. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie, I had some tears rolling down, right? Come on, man, that was some emotional stuff, y'all. Bro, I had tears, especially because, like, this is it for me. Mm. You know, I'm not playing college ball, and I'm definitely not playing in FIBA like our uh, boy come here. Come on, man, yeah. chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> not for real. Thank I you, never bro. left Illinois, and you're going all the way to Hungary to play for our country? Yo, that's wild. Man, I can't even think about that right now. I just got to focus on graduating first, and that's it. Come on, man, you got the best grades on the team. And you talking about you got to graduate uh, you go. first, like you some at risk. You? Hey, it's Come just on, one man. step at a time, P. You know, it's, that's how you get to where I'm at, man. <laughs> yeah, that and being a freak athlete. <laughs> nah, that don't, that don't hurt. But if you're trying to build something big, you got to do it brick by brick, man. Speaking of bricks, Benny over here been putting up bricks all season. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> so you got jokes now, huh? I got jokes. I got the looks. I got the charisma. Delusional self-esteem. Whoa. <laughs> Wrong shot. Well, all the time, man. <laughs> Team finals. I can get any money that day. Fuck all. Bear 
Podcast.